Make it seem like we feel the same. We love what we have. Hey, Breezers, how are you guys? We are going to read a few of Foodie Beauty's community posts. And then we're going to read what people had to say to Amberlynn Reed on her community post. So Foodie Beauty is in a mood today, in a moody. <laughs> she posted this eight minutes ago. Apparently Foxy 8's cartoon, um, as amazing as it is, it's getting around. So people are watching. Good for Foxy 8. So this is from eight minutes ago and it says, Exactly how I picture this moronic leprechaun acting as he obsesses over dumb crap, like now desperate for content. So now excusing an abuser in his latest video? Are you insane? Oh, wait. Yes, you certainly are a sad, sad, pathetic excuse for a man. This cartoon was hilarious, by the way. And comments are off. So this is from four hours ago. It reads, hi. Hope everyone reading this will have an amazing day. Well, you must have been in a good mood when you posted this because suddenly we went to this community post. <laughs> Which, that community post is funny. I have to give you that. Okay. And you know what? We're zooming in. And the one thing I always say about Foodie is I think she has very pretty eyes. She turned comments off, so she must have been getting backlash or a lot of comments that she couldn't keep up with deleting. I'm not sure. Um, this one is from one day ago. Okay, members, I feel like maybe it's time for me to do open chats and offer a different kind of a perk for members, like, say, a weekly money draw for members only. Give back a bit to my community. I will also do members chats once a week, and we will go put and do something fun, I'll probably go out and do something fun for the stream, and only members will be able to watch and participate. As members, would you be interested in these changes? Thanks for your input, XO. I just don't think anybody should get their hopes up because she always says what she's going to do and she never does it. Um, and then these community posts, she's just, um, I guess, sharing whatever Negs has to say. Oh, she's still going after FFG. Okay. Let's see. This is from a day ago. Now, I think my reaction was pretty successful. You and your audience just don't have brains and don't understand talking points unless it involves smoky screeching and verbal abuse. Low hanging fruit. So why should I be locked up abroad, LMA? Oh, 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 oh. Because I defend myself? Or because you cry like a bee over criticism? Stay mad, psycho. If anyone will be locked up, it will be you for stalking and harassment. Oh, jeez. Oh, geez, more sharing of Neg's content, shouting out DC Media Girls podcast with Neg's, um, shouting out Anna Nicole, and it says, come hang out, come hang. She sure is in a lot of chats and live streams. I, when do you have time to hang out with your hubby? All right, you guys, we are going to, let's see. I think we already covered this, but we can reread it. This is from two days ago, edited. So you know who has basically done revenge prawn in its thumbnail? And many of you find that hilarious. I will be calling the cops and pressing charges if I can. Did you? I wonder if she ever did. You are already in hot water, loser. You and Dudu are disgusting. I see you changed the thumbnail, but someone sent me the screenshot and info. Stop talking about me or I'll be getting another protective order. I wonder if she ever did follow through. It's been two days. What do you guys think? All right. In the next clip, we're going to be reading some of Amberlynn Reed's comments on her community post. Bye, you guys. But wait, there's more. <laughs> she just posted a minute ago and it reads, and you, yab, no, lab, whatever that means. The minute I get home, I'm going to the Montreal police station to report your goblin fish abuser ass for revenge porn. I don't care if you don't think it is. Even without, send, even without nudity, you posted sexually suggestive pictures that were from a private time for a malicious purpose, scumbag. Oh, and while I'm there, FFG will be getting a report for harassment online and in person. And yes, of course I called the Montreal police and they advised to go into the office to make a report, as it cannot be done over the phone. Unfortunately, there is already a record of you on file. Yes, even though I dropped the charges, doesn't mean it didn't happen. And a protective order, so you will stop talking about me. I didn't ruin your reputation. You did that. 
do you not remember the Sam's Bar Lounge video still online of you hurting Dee Dee? Her begging for her father. Bye bye, B. I mean, <sighs> Nader has to face consequences. It's about time. He gets away with so much and he doesn't face any consequences. So if he truly did post revenge prawn, you know, I maybe I hope she does report it. I'm not, I'm going to be honest. If he truly did, I saw on Twitter he posted some other pictures, private photos of them. So if he truly did post it, maybe it's time he faces consequences. He can't keep getting away with hurting women. And he's hurt a lot. He's hurt a lot of people, and I remember those Sam's Bar Lounge videos, and they were haunting. They were. Okay, you guys, unless we have another community post, let me refresh. Hold on, let me go to playlist and go back to community. Okay, all right, unless another one pops up, we're going to Amberlynn Reed now. Okay, so Amberlynn Reed posted this community post 11 hours ago, and it reads, which video would you want to see the most of in 2023? Vlog, what I ate today, weight talk, Q&A, eat with me. What if I don't like any of those options? Um, let's just pick one just to see. I don't know. If I picked Q&A, it's not like she'd be honest. Oh, well. So vlog one, I'm taking my vote back, <laughs> but just so you guys could see vlog got 48%, what I ate today, 21%, weight talk, 18%, Q&A, 6%, eat with me, 8%. Okay, let's go to these comments and okay, so T-Man is up first and said, it would be cool if you started to do more adventures. Not adventures to Walmart, but walking trails, start visiting some art museums, go to those indoor golfing more often, etc., etc. I like that comment. Um, CMC said, please get out of the house and go on more adventures with Feline. Find a trail to walk Twinkie on, explore your city, go on a vacation and take us with you. Great, uh, great advice. Um, Adeline said, I would love to see you do small exercises or go outside and film the outdoors or exciting areas around town. Em said, funny, three of the options involve food and there is none activity or outdoors related. You go, girl. Give us the very same thing you've been giving through the years. Jalen said, I would like to see you take on a skill you'd always wanted to master and try it out. That would be cool. Jalen um, also said, I would love to see you challenge yourself with new fun eyeshadow looks within all the creative makeup palettes you've splurged on in the past. Um, Talon of Dragon said, I'd love to see different segments, cooking, exploring with girlfriends, small nature walks, different Kentucky. Oh, how did I, what did I just do? Hold on, you guys. <laughs> okay, here we go. I would love to see different segments, cooking, exploring with girlfriend, small nature walks, different Kentucky scenery, never been, even Lego building, different art or general museums, any ghost towns in Kentucky or Oregon. I would love to see the journey, edit. I want to see you live and have some fun while bringing us along. Between work and my animals, I don't get much me time or be able to get out. Take us on some adventures, even if small. Challenge yourself weekly. Start small and add more every month. I'm liking that comment. Um, Far Beyond the Shapeless said, I would love to see you actually pulling through with something and being successful for once. I'm liking that. Um, Me Lit the Scary said, would like to see you get more into art and do creative challenges with Feline and vlogs. Delilah said, honestly, it's whatever you choose. I watch all the time. Love all your content. Just sad that people make it to where there are certain things they make you uncomfortable to share. 
I just wish everyone that's actually here watching and commenting were genuine supporters. Um, Jay Marie said, hi, Amber and Feline. Can you do like a baking type of situation competition? I know you said that you don't bake, but I think it would be cool for you to try it. Hope you have a Merry Christmas. Okay, let's see. Big Al said, I would like to see you actually literally advocating for yourself in every aspect of your life. No more excuses and blaming ly lymphedema, lipedema, lipedema, eating healthy, food is medicine. Stop blaming your trauma for your failures and moving more. When you know better, you do better. Be better. Maddie said, Vlogmas has been so fun. I'm going to miss the daily videos. Tammy said, just vlog your daily routine, etc. Love seeing your fur babies. I have three fur babies also. All right, let's scroll up. Kayla said, I want to see you and Feline do craft kit competitions like soaps and needle felting. That would be fun. Saskia said, going out more, walks, Walmart, or anything else near you, and maybe once a week go out for lunch or dinner instead of takeout. Gives you something to look forward to with what that one day of the week. Um, Ella said, the people voting vlog think vlog means going outside and walking. Guys, you know she's not going to do that, lol. Vlog here means cleaning the pantry and doing arts and crafts. Is that really what you want more of? No, no, it's not, Ella. It's definitely not. Jalen said, maybe something new with the hair this year. Something fresh and fun to give you more confidence. And again, it would be something to look forward on for, for on your end. By just having something to fix up every day for your own confidence. Ali said, you know what, it's time. She, I would love to see her do something different with her hair too. That would be interesting. That would be fun. Ali said, I must say, I've enjoyed your vlogmas this year more than any other. So thank you. What I'd love to see the most in the future though is you out and about and seeing the area around where you live, etc. Shopping and eating out don't count, lol. Just seeing places outside of your home and of the supermarket. Daily life vlogs, which we don't normally see. But you seem so much happier now and it's showing. And your pets are adorable and I've really enjoyed seeing them more over Vlogmas too. Alright, gonna scroll up. Um, Jalen said, why don't you try to do something you haven't yet done? Push yourself despite the fear of judgment. Try not to hold back and just create content. Like anything that just involves you keeping your blood flow going would make us all happy for you and your well-being. Um, Surf and Turf said, my favorite vlogs on YouTube is when we go out to a store or a zoo or something like the park or museum. Don't do the zoo. Jalen said, definitely more torrid. Those are my favorite. Is Amberlynn deleting bad comments? <laughs> I'm just wondering. Um, Emma said, vlogs with any type of exercise, please. That would be great. Sophie Apple said, exercise routines. Also, if you're not planning on getting weight loss surgery, you should change the way you eat ASAP. For your body, you'll need to lose, oh, you'll need 1,200 calories, no sugar, nothing with flour like bread, no pasta, salads, chicken breasts, free, sh free sugar yogurt, so sugar-free, okay, Fruit soup, and I mean actual soup, not those ramen things with noodles, sugar-free orange juice, rice crackers with a slice of tomato and a slice of cheese as a snack, fish, a lot of veggies. For eggs, you can cook carrots. Oh, for example, you can cook carrots and eggplants with a few onions and a bit of garlic in the oven or a pumpkin, and then you can make pumpkin puree. And whenever you feel like eating something that's not healthy, just chew some sugar, choose some, <laughs> chew some sugar-free gum. You should have a stash of sugar-free gum full of different flavors. Also, drink at least two liters full of water. Plus, you could drink one liter of a sugar-free thing. Pop without butter. Just pop in a bit of salt. Also helps with trying to binge. You should really try to do some of these things. Uh, let's see. Precious Pear said, I'd like to see you get weight loss surgery and then do travel vlogs. It's Tizzy Izzy said, why ask when you normally never do what your viewers want to see anyways? <laughs> I'm liking that. Catherine said something new and more torrid halls. Um, music, I don't want to see that. Mick said, none of the above. I want to see you walk, your poor dog. I know, none of the above. I don't like her options very much. Melissa said, do what makes you happy. That's what life is all about, and it's yours to live however you choose. Hope you have a very Merry Christmas and an even better New Year. 
Psych 911 said weight loss journey vlog and recovery. It's time. I'm going to like that. Um, I'm going to scroll up. Erin asked, why does it always have to be food related? I've never seen anyone actually ask for this. True. All right. Um, Steely said, let's go for record high this year. You're almost at 600, so you should celebrate once you hit that. Oh, no, that's bad advice. I'm not going to read that. Storm Ghoul said, for you to take a break from YouTube to work on yourself. Um, Naked and Laughing said, answer questions without pre-reading them. Be honest for once. Um, Amanda said, literally anything that requires you to leave your apartment. Agreed. Uh, X Toronto said, what I learned in therapy and how I would apply it to vlogs, exercise vlog, overeaters, anonymous vlogs. Maya said, I wish there was a taking accountability for my awful behavior option, but that'll never happen. I'm going to like that. Um, someone said more adventures. Ambo said walks, trips to the gym, actually go outside and do stuff, you know? I'm going to like that as well. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a great day, great evening, wherever you are. I, I'm going to go live for an hour today and we're going to do a live reaction. So, um, I'll post about an hour before. All right, you guys, I will see you so soon. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye, you guys.